naturals. I got so nervous I didn't know it was Carl the Cougar. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be beautiful. When I see you again, oh, oh, oh. Hey guys, it's Kayla from Scola, and right now I'm in Exton, Pennsylvania at Collegium Charter School. I'm about to head inside and check out their incredible programs and campus, but my first stop is going to be to meet their amazing staff that really make this whole place run. Let's head inside. So, Ms. Barber, I know you have a really important role here as CEO, so tell me, really, what's the mission of Collegium? What are you guys all about? So we're all about educating all of our students to reach their fullest potential, while at the same time giving them opportunities to explore what post-secondary options they would have. Um, it's a little daunting in this world that's ever-evolving, and when you stop to think about, we're preparing kids for uh, technologies and, and careers that may not even exist yet. So we took that and we, we tried to narrow down to what are some skills that no matter where they are would be applicable to them. And, and we took that and we defined what we saw as our portrait of a graduate. But we didn't want to wait till kids left us to have those skills. So we then repurposed that into being the vision for all our learners. And that vision is that all our students would be critical thinkers, that they'd be creative, that they'd be communicative, that they would be citizens of both their local and global communities, and that they would be courageous in the face of adversity. That's incredible you guys are doing that. Yeah, it's been a great opportunity for us. So right now, I'm in the incredible Performing Arts Center. Performing Arts is something that they actually start at a very young age in kindergarten with music and dance lessons right in the curriculum. Then, as students get older, they have the opportunity to audition for plays, musicals, band, orchestra, and then to get to perform it in this beautiful center for all of their friends, family, and school members. So I'm with my brand new friends, Mason and Sori. They are sixth graders here. So I wanna know, what do you love about going to school here? One of my favorite things about Collegium is all the after school activities and all the opportunities we have. For example, the uh, intramurals, like um, flag football, that's the one I did. That is so much fun. And then what about you, Sori? My favorite thing about Collegium, honestly, is like how many opportunities you can make around here and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like you guys have a lot of friends here. Okay, I wanna know, what is your favorite class? Either ELA or science. That's awesome, and what do you love about those classes? For ELA, I love my teacher. She's very upbeat and kind, and she just has a good vibe. And then in science, I like, like, I like doing projects and like hands-on activities, so. That's why. That is awesome. And then what about you? My favorite subjects are PE and ELA because PE is very like upbeat and like it's just very fun. That's awesome. And one final question. If you guys had to give advice to a new student coming here, what would you want them to know about this school? Make friends. Don't worry about the teachers because they're all very nice. Awesome. Well, this sounds like this is the perfect school for both of you. It is awesome to meet you guys today. Thank you. Thank you. So we had the opportunity to check out some incredible programs today, you know, with this beautiful space just being one of them. So tell me a little bit more. What makes you guys so special? If I were to narrow it down, I'd say, and you kind of hit on it, our opportunities, the accessibility we give to all our students, and then I think our responsiveness. So where other traditional schools maybe shy away from, we continue to prioritize the related arts, so the performing and the visual art opportunities that we have for our students. Um, from the time they enter our doors in kindergarten, they have access to Spanish instruction, they have access to STEM instruction and robotics experiences. Um, and then accessibility, we look to make sure that there aren't barriers for 
many students that no matter where you come from, that what your background or your interests are, you have that low floor that to access those opportunities. And then I think our responsiveness. So when we acquired this property, we started to think, all right, what is it our students need and could benefit from, which continues to challenge us to create new and exciting programs for them. Well, I can already tell just from speaking to your students, when this gets developed, this is going to be an amazing opportunity for them that they're gonna be so excited about. So right now I'm in the STEM wing and this school truly has everything. The class that was just in here was actually learning how to pilot drones, but that's just one of the cool opportunities here. Beyond that, they also have an eSports lounge, they have digital photography, and news broadcasting, coding, robotics, really whatever students are interested in in that field, they have a chance to explore it here. So Ms. Gallahan, as the high school principal here, Tell me a little bit more of that experience and that program for your high schoolers. Sure, so we try and offer as much variety as we can in the day. Um, we're really proud to report that we offer 22 AP classes, so students that uh, want to get ahead in their career in terms of college are able to do that. Also, we've diversified a lot of our students. We're trying to make sure that we have similar pathways to what the Commonwealth is recommending. So um, there are pathways certainly to college, but we also are trying to make sure that we diversify and for students that might go right into the workforce or students that might do some other post-secondary training, we want to make sure that we have options for all of them. So um, we are starting uh, some direct career pathways in terms of computer, also teacher academy. Um, and in diversifying their opportunities, we also like to increase um, our staff opportunities as well. So if they have particular interests, they can propose courses that they're going to teach. Um, for example, uh, marine biology, we're instituting next year um, fiction through mysteries. So things that teachers are passionate about um, so that they can build on their relationships with kids and show them all the different things that they have to offer. Um, just really diversifying everything that we have available. That's absolutely incredible. You guys are doing that. Thank you. So we visited a lot of classrooms today. So tell me a little bit more about that teaching and learning style here. So all our teaching and learning experiences are guided by universal design for learning. So UDL is a framework that looks to improve and optimize the teaching and learning experience for everyone in that classroom. Um, and it does so because it's based into the science of how humans actually learn. So it's, it's rooted in the why of, of learning, the how of learning, and the what of learning. So there's multiple means of uh, representation of the learning. There's multiple means of expression that the students can share how they've learned and the uh, multiple uh, ways that they engage in the learning. For us as an administrative team and a, and a teaching team, it has, it has challenged us to, sh uh, to shift our conversation. It isn't anymore about a student and teacher, but a learner and a facilitator. Because as students become more the leaders of their own learning, those roles shift. Because at some point, they could be the facilitator of the learning within the classroom. So you see a lot more student voice, a lot more student choice. Um, and it's just been a really neat transformation to see. I love that, you know, leaders of their own learning. Yes. So right now I'm at the greenhouse and this is just the first step to their expansion of the agriculture program. So agriculture is really big in this area of Pennsylvania. So what they're doing is really giving students the chance to go beyond the textbook and explore some new interests. Beyond the greenhouse where they're gonna be growing some plants and produce, they're also gonna be starting a micro farm with animals. And it's just a really great way for students to just know, you know, what are they gonna do in the future if they have a future in agriculture and just a fun way to get outside. So Mrs. DeCarolis, as the K-4 principal, what does that really, you know, elementary experience look like here at Collegium? I think one thing that really sets us apart is our diversity here and our ability to celebrate all of the diversity. One example of this is we have an amazing heritage night and so we invite families to come in and they set up a booth of food and um, posters and pictures and sometimes they bring objects. We had henna um, and they just share their cultures and really what makes them unique and the smiles on the kids and the families faces that night is amazing and then we try to continue that throughout the school year and I think that's one of the favorite nights for everyone. That's incredible. I love the way that you guys are really bringing your community together that way and you know with such a beautiful campus like you have we're out here in the courtyard you hear the birds chirping and beautiful space I'm really sure that just makes the student experience here so rich. 
It does. The students are just so proud. Um, and then we have a lot of dress down dates throughout the year where they're just wearing their traditional wear and celebrating each other. And um, it's, it's a really a sight to see. Yeah, it's so beautiful. So Madden here is a senior. So tell yes. me a little bit more about your plans for next year. So I'm going to be going to college, um, Delaware State University, and I'm planning on entering the mass communications program there, and I will be playing lacrosse. That is awesome. I'm so excited. So tell yeah. me a little bit about your experience here at Collegium and how that helped you make that decision and that next step for college. Yeah, so I've been going here since kindergarten. I've made so many friends and great, amazing staff members, teachers along the way. Um, they really set us up like very well for you know our next step, our next plans, and me college and collegiate athletics. Great four years um, playing. I was three sport athlete. It was just really great to be a part of all of that and really helped me push myself, you know, to the next level. Um, with college and stuff, uh, great counselors. And, you know, Miss Yak, Lauren Yak. She um, really helped me set myself up with dual enrollment, and I was able to earn some credits for next year as well. That's awesome. I'm sure you're going to feel so amazing going into college, mm -hmm. already having some of that experience underneath your belt. It's so exciting that you get to play lacrosse in college as well. I'm excited, yes. So, Miss Horsey, I know that transitioning into middle school can be really scary for a lot of students. So, tell me a little bit more about your role and how you're really supporting students with that transition. So, at our middle school, we have a transition program called WEB, which is an acronym for Where Everyone Belongs. And it's a mentorship leadership program that we have where we identify eighth grade WEB leaders and they provide mentorship and leadership to our new students in the building. Um, they help them with orientation, not only on the first day of school, the first week of school, but also throughout the whole entire school year. Um, it helps us identify eighth grade leaders and they are then able to provide mentorship and leadership for our new students because they've been through it already. So we have activities that help them with academics and social so that their whole first year in our middle school building, they are really doing um, a good job of providing this mentorship for them. That's incredible and I'm sure it's a really great experience for the sixth graders to have someone to look up to and really just, you know, alleviate any of those nerves that they're feeling. Absolutely. So you guys have a massive campus, not only in size, but also the number of students that you have. So how do you still make it feel like a close-knit family? Right, since the time I joined Collegium, that's always what I heard. And uh, very quickly, that came to be my experience as well. There is that strong family feel. Uh, I think the uniqueness of us being a K-12 entity all in one place allows, first off, our youngest students to see their trajectory. So they started as a green shirt, they can see when they're gonna move to a red shirt, and then ultimately a blue shirt. Uh, one of the neat traditions that we have started to do that on the first day of kindergarten, our 12th grade students greet them coming mm -hmm. off the bus. So they see that continuum. Um, we look to create like smaller learning communities in each building. So again, the students don't feel like they're in such big of a school. Yes, we are one school that is K-12, almost 2,700 students. Um, we have a strong community basis here. Uh, within the, the corporate center, and we have a very active a HSA, Home and School Association, whose parent involvement really helps to tie all this together. I love that, you know, it's true that it's really, you know, the, the relationships with the staff, the students, the teachers that makes the family, not the size of it. Correct. Well, that's a wrap for today here at Collegium Charter School. If you're interested in enrolling, make sure to head to their website for more information, and of course, school.com. See you guys in the next one.